We've lost a lot of men on, in, uh, in the Donbass fight. I was talking to a few soldiers. Some of them told me they lost 60% of their, their men. How long do you think you can hold? Well, we have 2,000 kilometers of front line. Out of this 2,000, 1,300 is the front line of active engagement with the enemy. Uh, you can never have enough of weapons for such uh, such a front line. And uh, frustration and emotional pressure is comprehensible. I, I fully understand our soldiers who <clears throat> heroically defend uh, their land uh, and their compatriots with what they have. Uh, we are trying to bring in as much uh, as many weapons and ammunition as we can. But the difference between us and our partners on one hand and Russia on the other hand is that Russia was preparing for this war for a long time. And uh, yes, they are in a much better position when it comes to the volume, the, the number of artillery, uh, multiple launch rocket systems and the ammunition to them. So I think it's in the best interest of all uh, who share the cause that we are fighting for. Uh, to uh, solve the issue of sustainability of supplies to Ukraine. Otherwise, we will be paying with the lives of our soldiers and civilians. Uh, no one can uh, give you a precise date of how much uh, we can hold. Uh, on the eve of the aggression and the, in the first hours of the aggression, the conventional wisdom was in the West was that Ukraine may hold maximum 72 hours. And we are now speaking in the, what, six months of the war. Yeah. And Ukraine still holds. So uh, we will hold. We will hold as long as needed uh, for us to, to, to defend our country. The question is what will be the price that we are paying to hold on. And you have to understand that this is not uh, the war against Ukraine only. This is the war of Russia against the West. And uh, yes, Putin uh, attacks Ukraine with uh, missiles, with artillery, with tanks, but he equally attacks Europe, North America and other countries with energy prices, with inflation, with propaganda. So what do you think when Macron says we mustn't uh, hurt his feelings too much, otherwise we will not be able to negotiate anymore? If Putin wanted to negotiate, he would have already done it. And uh, I think the last thing people should uh, care about are President Putin's feelings. He is a ruthless man uh, whose mission is to destroy. Uh, you do not, uh, you do not uh, think uh, of the emotions of a serial murderer uh, when you have to handle him and protect your society from his, from his actions. You think about how to stop him. And that doesn't imply the need to understand him, to treat him with sympathy, uh, or to concede to him in order to make him behave better.